hello my leo people sun moon or rising um and if this is does not resonate with you you can always go watch your whatever this is not your sun moon or rising but hello leos hello leos this is your reading for the end of january 2021 to know for the rest of this month, which is almost over. What does Leo need to know? So first off, there is nothing in Leo at this moment. So in your seventh house of relationships, you guys have um, Neptune. Neptune is a planet of spirituality so maybe you're being spiritual finding yourself spiritual more spiritual now in your relationship it's an, it's an aquarius aquarius is your is your seventh house so um what does leo need to know for the rest of this month january 2021 So right now, you guys need to pay attention because it looks like someone's trying to throw you under the bus. There's somebody that is being dishonest with you and they are watching you or somebody's getting ready to throw you under the bus. So pay attention and don't trust too many people at this moment. That sounds so awful, but just forewarning, okay? are feeling betrayed um somebody is being dishonest with you again um dishonesty betrayal um you guys are going through something that is causing you to feel so um betrayed all right, so I feel like this sounds crazy, but I feel like it's at work. I feel like you're needing to look at things in a different way at work. Um, maybe that will help you out. Um, you have the hangman, and the hangman is about looking at things in a different way um, and to finding... Um, a different type of energy uh, of, of looking at a certain subject or a certain thing that's going on, whatever is going on. Um, so I see the dishonesty or somebody that's watching you or trying to throw you under the bus. So for you, you need to look at things in a different way. Now that you have a warning, just be looking at different ways okay instead of sitting in a box and just looking at all four corners you need to look at the top the bottom and all the way around on the outside do you understand that that's like paying attention to every surrounding that you have um and be be aware of everything around you not only be aware of it but look at the situation in a different way um maybe it's something that you had an argument about or a dis you know maybe you just disagreed with somebody on, on a certain subject, just look at it from their point of view and don't try to judge their point of view because sometimes we can overpower their thoughts and think that our thoughts are more important, which your, your, your thoughts are important to you, but sometimes you have to let things go to understand that nothing is going to happen. Um, to help the situation if you were to say something, if that makes any sense. Sometimes you have to let things go and let them be what they are, okay? But once you do that, 
you will be working together well with whoever it is. Um, I do see a female energy here. It doesn't have to be a female, but in, it's a cancer. I, maybe a person that's really caring, really loving, nurturing, um, taking care of you. Um, someone that is very, that could be psychic or intuitive, but I feel like you are feeling like they are betraying you um, at the same time. Like they are, um, I'm not sure exactly what they're doing, but you just feel betrayed by them. Um, it's like they kind of leave you out and <laughs> the, the, the hogs come eat you, you know? Um, that's what I'm feeling. Like you feel like you're not intertwined in their thoughts and their actions. Um, then I also see though your it looks like your career is doing all right. Although you might have this argument or whatever, uh, this disagreement, but at the same time, I do see that you, you have your fruits of your labor coming out and you're working on that fruit. Like you're, some of you might have a plan to do something and it's like, um, that is, um, coming to be what you want it to be. It's, it's in fruition. You have that um, plan coming together that you have. But I also see you having a free spirit, which Leo is about free spirit. Leo is a um, sign of you guys are very funny and you like to have the center of attention because you like to be the comedian. You like to be the one that makes people laugh to make people feel good. Some people don't see it like that. They see it as you being egotistical. And I mean, maybe sometimes you are, but really it's just to get people to laugh. It's just to get people to make, make them laugh. And so you guys are free spirited people. Sometimes you're just like, okay, like a childlike. You like to be childlike. And that's good um, but I do see something that's getting ready to happen that you are you might not be prepared for um, but it is something that is karmically connected to you um, This card is about something change, a change in your life that um, is karmically connected to you, meaning not by karma like you're getting what you deserve, karma, okay? That is something totally different. That is not karma. That is what energy you put out comes back. <clears throat> I guess it is a, a karma, but karma is basically when you are, it's something that you have to work on in life to create the better person that you are. So you have to go through one door and that ha some things have to happen to open another door in life. So you're gonna have to go through this door to get to the next door, okay? And it's to better you, no matter what you think. It is, it's not there to block you or to make you, um, fail. It is there to make you grow and to make you a better person. Um, so this is something that it's like you've kind of been waiting for this to happen, um, but it hasn't done it yet. But I feel like whatever it is, is going to turn out in, in your good because you might have a little bit of a fear of it. I'm not quite sure what it is. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but then I do see some of you might be moving or you might be traveling. Um, maybe it is something that has to do with, let's see what this traveling has to do with. It's something that you're wanting. Something that you've been wanting. And you're creating it, whatever it is something that you've been wanting. All right, so um, whatever it is that you're traveling for is um, for your relationship. 
um, but you do have worries about it and you are kind of scared and fearful for it. If you are moving um, or you're just traveling, whatever it is, it's for your mate, um, with your mate, but you're really worried about it and, but you know that it's going to give you, wow, it's going to give you more money to do this. So whatever it is, and some, for some of you, it might be for work, but I see your mates going with you anyway. Um, so I see that. And I think it's going to give you more money. So it might be for work for some of you. And it might just be moving to get better work, okay? Do we need to know about our love, the Leo love for January of 2021, the rest of January? Sorry that my lighting is really bad, um, but this is what I have. I'm out on my front porch enjoying the weather. It's kind of wet and rainy, but I like the sound of the I, I don't think it's raining now. I think it's just humidity. But so right now I live in the south, south Texas. Love life. What does love life do? Leos need to know about their love life. It's funny because in my cancer reading, the cancer card came up first too, and you guys got the the um, Leo card came up first like the cancer did. Love life for this month, for the rest of this month. Alright, so love life for this month for Leos. Alright, you guys are are Leo so you got a lot of strength for this month you um, are the king or you are the queen whichever if you're Leo you're happy you're free loving you are um, it seems like you're a little bit bored with something that's going on in your relationship and you're kind of like okay we need something new so if you if you are that person just remember um, Remember why you got with this person and what made them like you and what made you like them. Just remember those, the past first feelings that you had and why, okay? Um, but I do see you visualizing your childhood or your past, um, your past like, uh, feeling for them or hopefully it's not for someone else um, but I do see childlike or just that sweet innocent love that you had from way back in the day or when you first got together um, I do see rearranging things I do see celebration um, I do see a very good potential for this the rest of the month which is only a week but hey I see um, I see a good, good, uh, rest of the month. I see you manifesting as well, manifesting and creating something that you're wanting. Um, but I do see someone working really hard at trying to, um, bring the relationship together one or the other. I don't know if it's you or if it's them. I'm not sure. Um, but I do see happy, home life and happy relationship, feeling fully content with the person that you are with. So in all reality, even though that you are, you may be feeling really bored or like what's going on, I don't know, you might feel a little confused for a moment. Um, I don't see anything bad happening. It looks like it's really well put together. And I do see somebody that is watching from afar. 
um, they're watching your relationship. I'm not sure who it is, but you are being watched. Um, I don't know who it is. I have no clue if it's a family member or if it's an ex. I don't know if it's, they're just, um, you know, watching you on Facebook. It looks like they're just keeping an eye on you. So, um, all right. I guess let me read it this way because um, childlike, yeah. You guys are good together. You guys are a good couple. It looks like you're a really good couple. Um, I see celebration, having fun. Um, creating new memories. It's good. It's good. All right. So let's do one more for the singles. What do you love or the the singles need to know about their love life for the rest of this month? What do they need to know? So, whenever something happens during a reading, that has something to do with it. So, um, it's like, I feel like you guys are being stubborn in your relationship, or um, since I'm doing reading for singles, singles, yeah, you're being stubborn, um, being very nitpicky. Um, maybe there's a person that is watching you and you know that they are watching you but it's like you're not really interested in them some of you this doesn't pertain to all of you but I do see someone that is being very nitpicky and it's like you you know that they're there but you're not paying you're you're like I see you but you're not you're not the person um, I also see maybe an argument or something that may happen for some of you um, with somebody that you are involved with, maybe, um, let's see, I see, um, maybe someone that is having a hard time with something that you're dealing with in your personal life and you're not putting, letting another person in because you kind of have them shut off. Um, but you do feel like somebody in your past you had maybe just recently you had an argument with somebody because they were being sneaky and um, I don't know if they were spying on you or if they were I don't know because I see them coming towards you again um, like they they're coming towards you again it's like they're relentless they don't they don't want to quit um, but it's like you kind of are wishing that you had them or maybe somebody else um, but you worry about it you set up and you worry about it at night um, and some of you might not be able to sleep at night and you might have issues of but it's it's worries that you don't need to worry about like there are things that aren't aren't something that you need to worry about um, I do see intuition here so if you are a person that might do like moon magic or magic in some kind of way but I, I feel like you need to use the moon um we have a full moon coming up um on the 20 and between the 28th and the 30th um like so probably the 29th you can do um some moon magic and use the full moon or maybe you should just go outside and sit under the moon and Kind of meditate just be by yourself clear your mind um, maybe that'll help you sleep uh, also another thing that I recommend is valerian root valerian root is a very um, good 
natural way to go to sleep is just an herb that you take before you go to bed and it is much or for me I like it more than um, the uh, melatonin um, so if you have trouble sleeping there you go uh, go get you some valerian root I also feel like some of you are feeling like you're a slave like you're working way too much or maybe even like maybe it's not even work maybe it is a whole bunch of thoughts that you have in your head that you're worried about and you're just you feel like a slave to yourself if that makes any sense um, so for you singles as of this week I don't see anything coming towards you I mean like I said this one it's like you had an, some of you might have had an argument with someone and it was because they were being sneaky like they were putting their nose where it doesn't belong and they kind of stepped over their boundaries and it's like they're relentless though they're coming back it's like I see them coming back so if that's you there you go um, but anyways all right thank you Leos for watching my video and I appreciate you and